and Deputy President William Ruto has said that the government has so far lost four years while conducting baseless politics. The second in command has faulted the government for failing to deliver its promises to Kenyans, saying that if elected, he has an elaborate plan for Kenya. The DP spoke after meeting grassroots leaders from Moranga County. Deputy President William Ruto has made what is probably the boldest admission that the Jubilee government has failed, at least in the last four years. The second in command attributes the failure to what he calls baseless politics, that he says government officers have engaged instead of fulfilling the promise they made to Kenyans. Tayari tumepoteza miaka ine hatuja fanya mpango ya big four ya kuzalisha nafasi ya kazi kwa vijana ya kuwashughulikia wakulima wapate soko na cooperative zao sisimame Ruto's scathing salvo coming just days after President Uru Kenyatta's supporters accused the DP of derailing President Kenyatta's first term in government Tafadhali tusiendelee kupoteza muda wetu na majibizano ambayo haina maana Sisi tuko na mpango Wajua kama mimi nilikuwa chief whip, kiongozi mkubwa sana katika hii republic. Lakini mimi nikaona ah hii BBI endelee vizuri. Mimi kaambia president, okay, mimi hii kitu sioni nikaandika barua. Badala nisikizwe, kangata akarushwe nje. <laughs> Ile ugonjwa tuko naye ni ugonjwa ya shida na tabu. Kanatigua. Ile ugonjwa tuko naye mheshimiwa naibu wa rais, hii mlima Kenya yetu ni ugonjwa ambayo tulikuwa tumeingizwa ya ukabila ya kuambiwa tuamini ya kuwa maisha yetu yatabadilika tukiwa na maja yetu kwa meza akikula yeye na familia yake however president kenyatta's allies and the jubilee top organ say they will push on with the quest to push for ruto's resignation mawe nawekwa kwa 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 kwa, kwa barabara askari nasimamia tumefika pale na rumoro wamefika tu, wanatafuta vijana kutupa mawe kwa naibu wa rais wamesimamiwa na askari sasa na hii ni serikali tumefika hapo kwa sababu hii maneno yingine yote wamejaribu imefika mwisho kama ni bei ya kahawa iongezewe ili kama eh, eh, mti mmoja unakupatia kilo mbili ukupatie kilo kumi na uiongezewe pia hiyo bei kuko na shida hapo kama ni mambo ya maziwa tuhakikishe kwamba tumekuwa na coolers huko Katanga ndio mkulima anaweka maziwa yake pale kwa cooperative anaweza kunegotiate bei yake inakuwa juu sio kuuziwa ma, kuuza maziwa kama unatupa meanwhile divisions in Tanga Tanga seems to be widen due to the lack of a definite political outfit to support come 2022 several factions are pledging their allegiance to DP with the UDA being the biggest of them all paul kirobi tv47 nairobi